Method number one, hop a fence. No, sneaking to music festivals is risky and it's stealing, especially when there's so many other ways that you can get music festival tickets for free. I'm gonna tell you eight, eight different ways that you can get into any music festival for free, completely legal. Before we go any further, I wanted to show you some of the wristbands of the festivals that I've gotten free tickets for. This isn't clickbait, this isn't a scam, this is something that you can actually do. The first method we're going to be talking about is called street team. What a street team is, is basically you hang up posters, distribute flyers, and make social media posts leading up to the festival. And when you go to the festival, you get to pick up a ticket completely free of charge. What's really great about this is the fact that you have no responsibilities once you're at the festival, so you can see as many shows as you want. But what's kind of annoying about this is the fact that you're going to have to spam your social media accounts typically and it can be a lot of work, but it's usually worth it. The second way that you can get a ticket to a music festival for free is by becoming an ambassador. What ambassadors do is they sell tickets for the music festival in exchange for their own free ticket. This is a really great option if you can manage to actually sell the tickets because it's not that much work, but what's difficult about it is that there's so many people trying to do it for a lot of these popular festivals that it can be difficult to actually sell your tickets that you need to. If you are struggling to sell enough tickets to become an ambassador, what you should try and do is offer back some sort of incentive to the people that buy your tickets, whether it's some sort of little gift or maybe it's like $10 back on Venmo. Hey, what up? Number three is volunteering or interning with the festival. Volunteering with the festival means that you'll probably help set up the festival or help it run smoothly once it starts. And interning could be anything that would help behind the scenes to help it run well. There's such a variety of different positions that it's kind of hard to talk about the pros and cons of them, but I guess the main pro would be that it's free. Number four, we have working security because someone has to keep the wooks out. But what if I am the wook? Oftentimes music festivals need additional security so they'll hire you to work it. Some pros of this are you might be front row or you might be able to go backstage and meet some of your favorite artists. But some cons of this are that you might not be anywhere near the music, you might be stuck to one stage and you might be missing music altogether during your shifts. Number five, we have volunteering with Clean Vibes. Clean Vibes is a company that cleans up during and after music festivals. So you can either clean up during the festival for three six-hour shifts or after the music festival for two 10-hour shifts. Clean Vibes cleans up a ton of different music festivals, including Bonnaroo, Outside Lands, Life is Beautiful, Firefly, Forecastle, and a ton more. So it's definitely worth checking out to see if they're cleaning up a music festival that you'd be interested in working. To be fair, I'm kind of biased because I've only ever done the post-show cleanup for Clean Vibes. But post-show is really great because you don't miss any shows during the festival and you get it all done afterwards. Something that's not that good about during show is that you're going to miss a lot of shows, obviously. But what's not very good about the after show is you have to stay at the festival for an extremely long amount of time. I was at Bonner for nine days when I did the post-show cleanup, and at that point you are really ready to go home. Also, you have to put down a $300 deposit to get your ticket, and if you miss your shifts, then you're going to have to forfeit that deposit. Here, come over here. What up? That's Archie. It's Archie. It's <laughs> Archie. <laughs> That's a good puppy. <laughs> Number six is working with a vendor. This can mean either working with a craft vendor or working with a food vendor. If you work with a food vendor, you're guaranteed to get paid and also you'll probably get some free food along the way. Working at a craft vendor, that's not necessarily the case, but the work tends to be a little bit more chill from my experience. However, whether you work with a food vendor or a craft vendor, chances are you're gonna be missing some shows throughout the day because you're gonna be working. One common vendor that's worth looking out for is Headcount. Headcount is an organization that tries to get people to sign up to register to vote, and they are at pretty much every different major music festival. So I'm gonna put their link in the description so that you can check them out and see if they're vending a music festival that you wanna to go to and see if you can get a volunteer spot with them. Method number seven is going to be doing media coverage for the festival. What this means is you're taking pictures, videos, or writing articles about the festival to help promote it later on. This is a really good option if you already have an in with a magazine or a newspaper, but if you don't have an in with them, it's gonna be very difficult to get a media pass. Also, if you don't have the skills to obviously take these pictures, videos, or write these articles, it's gonna be extremely difficult for you to get a media pass. 
Number eight is going to be to play the festival. This might not be a very realistic option for most people, including myself, that don't have a band or music or a following or talent, but it's a really great option if you're a smaller band that has some level of a following. It's worth reaching out to some smaller festivals to try to get on some smaller stages and see if you can get some free tickets in exchange. Unfortunately, this last method doesn't work anymore, but I couldn't go the whole video without mentioning it. An honorable mention goes to getting a tattoo. Shaking Knees Music Festival in Atlanta was offering a free ticket for your life if you got a tattoo of their logo on your body. I guess the big con is if the festival ever cancels, I'm going to have a really stupid tattoo. There you have it. That's eight different ways that you can get into any music festival for free. This video is made possible by Dapper Wraps Cooling Towels and Dapper Plugs High Fidelity Earplugs. Dapper Wraps Cooling Towels are cooling towels that if you get them wet, they'll stay cold all day long and they have artwork on both sides. And Dapper Plugs High Fidelity Earplugs are earplugs that are designed specifically for music festivals and concerts. Let me know, what music festivals have you gotten into for free and how'd you do it? Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.